All right, hey, this is Hans, the Ramen Raider, coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. I've reviewed over 3,000 varieties, so maybe, hey, I might know a thing or two what I'm doing, or perhaps not, I don't know. And, yeah, today I've got one that comes from an Umai Crate. What's an Umai Crate, you ask? It's a subscription box from Japan, and you can get a monthly or just one-offs or subscribe i'm guessing for a year at a time i think and if you use the code is it the ramen raider or ramen raider it's one or the other give both a try one of them will work um if you use the code you can get a little something off a little something something yeah so today we have something and nobody other than this one guy in Canada that's in the east side that's way north where they speak Inuktitut I love that language um, this is from Kinchan Ramen and this is Bukaki Udon okay noodle pouch boiling water it's there Scissoring. Basically, all you have to do with these is separate them and get them warm. You can actually take these fresh no style noodles and put them in the microwave. You just poke a hole in it and you put it in the microwave for like a minute. This is calling for two minutes, so let's do the timer. But yeah, and you just kind of this route. You just kind of slowly give it a little bit of ooh. ooh and they just kind of fall apart. They don't hang out together. But anyways, how's your day going? Mine has been crazy. Unboxing, unboxing. Instant noodle recipe time, instant noodle recipe time. Hoping that I can get everything done before I gotta go run and get Miles off the bus. I have a feeling it's gonna cut freaking close. But we will see, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, all I can smell are spicy cup noodles from Mexico. And I'm worried about that because I don't mind the smell. However, my wife, not a big fan of the smell of spicy cup noodles from Mexico. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Normally, I would be like, oh, I'll just put them on my side of the bed, meh. Well, she doesn't want to smell them in the bedroom either, so. Yup. So we'll all have to figure out something to do. They are painting the buildings here. There are a lot of Mexican workers running around. Yeah, maybe they might want some. I bet you they would. How would I say that? Fideos Instantanea con Mexico? I don't know what con is the right for that. They'll probably just look at me like I'm some kind of freaking loopy white guy. Which I am, you know. I'm, I, I, can, I can get down with that. And we are coming right down to the beep. Okay. So I'm going to drain this. The bowl has drainage, but I'm not really into burning myself. As you all probably know by now, I try to avoid burning myself at all times. I've burnt myself many, 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 many times. Now, what's interesting about this is this is, what do you call it? Bukaki udon. Now, I was thinking maybe this might be more like Hayashi Udon or... Because it's not saying anywhere. It didn't say in the, the Umai Crate instructions to drain this. Or, I mean, to, uh, to chill it. So, like, literally, you splash on the sauce. There's the term cocky just means splash, if you're wondering. Um, basically, then you put on the uh, 
the little garnish, which I'm going to do after I get it all plated because I'll be able to tell that from everything else anyway. So here's how it looks. Mm. I like that. I like stuff like that a lot. Very reminiscent of like, I mean, this would probably be good cold as well, but that's fine. You'll notice this big chip in this plate. This, this plate holds a special place in my heart. This was given to me by the president of Nong Shim, USA. A very, very kind gesture. Thank you yet again. I really love this thing. But it's got a chip in it. But I can't I can't part ways with it. So you may have seen this in plenty of reviews. However, the chip is gone. Well, folks, that's the magic of Photoshop. A world that I spend much of my time in. Okay, and then we've got some, I think a couple mung bean sprouts would be nice. Some dancy, dancy mung bean sprouts right over here. There we go. And for this, I did this once before and I was really happy about it. Oh, let me put the topping on. There's a lot of that. And some little spring onion that I've done in little mini strips instead of little circles or rings as it were yeah I think we're good all right well let's see how that looks now I'm starting to be kind of questionable with that oh that looks pretty good would you eat that? Would you come to my house and eat that? I'm sure you would. All right, well, cool. This has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles every day. If you like this video, please click like. If you want to subscribe, I would be really happy about that. Uh, and if you want to no click the notification bell, that would be cool too. Um, if you like this video, click like and all that. And if you did, uh, maybe you like one of these videos. If you didn't, well, maybe you should just watch them and maybe you will. Watch them with a loved one. If you don't have a loved one, watch them with an enemy. It might make a friend. God, that's horrible, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I should stop doing that. That sounds so nasty. Watch it with your enemy. You might make a friend. Ho, ho, ho. All right, have a good one. Bye.